Head selection is a really important part of this process. Um, everybody has different uh, takes on what they like and what sounds good. I will say this, that um, I found that coated heads are a very nice way to go for general purpose playing. Um, if you're going to be playing brushes, you really have to go the coated route. Um, there, are, there are synthetic heads and different things that, that kind of do the job, but the, the coated heads really uh, provide the surface for brushes. Uh, again, for general playing, this seems to be a, a, a real safe way to go. There are other heads on the market. There's the clear heads, there's the dotted heads, the black dots, there's pinstripe heads, there's uh, hydraulic heads, there's all sorts of heads out there. Um, for me, it comes down to what music are you going to play. I've, I've worked with, with young players who have kind of rock and roll drum heads, but they're playing in a jazz band. So it just doesn't sound right. It won't ever sound right. So choose the head for the music you're going to play. You've heard how the jazz kit sounds. This would be more of a, a rock setting or a studio setting. Oftentimes, you see the front head uh, with a hole in it. That's for uh, putting a mic in there. It's for being able to access it with some dampening. And it gets a totally different sound. And it's not appropriate, really, for, again, stage band, jazz band, or even combo playing. But it, it has its place, and it has its place more in the rock area and studio work. So here's how the bass drum sounds. I talked about snare drum uh, used in a rock setting or a funk setting, you might want to crank the pitch up, especially if you're just doing basically backbeats. Uh, I've taken this drum up a bit and uh, it sounds something like this. Now, I'm getting rim shot on all those, which is kind of necessary for that style of music. But you can see how high this drum is. It's way up there. But it does give a nice crack. Would this sound good in a big band? Not at all. It would be too, too high end. It wouldn't have the thickness that a big band needs. So this is probably about... Uh, a third or a fourth too high for a big band setting. Let's move to the tom-tom. On this tom-tom, uh, we've put a clear head because I use this in, uh, in rock and in studio. Um, listen to the depth of the sound and the different sound it gets from our other tom. Now with this drum, I don't know if you can hear it, but there's a bit of a drop off. That's because the top head is a certain uh, tension and the bottom head is a little looser. That creates that boo, that sound. The more you do that, the more you mess around with that, you can really create some nice effects. If I were to tune this drum with this head uh, higher, like in a jazz setting, it wouldn't have the success, in my opinion, that a coated head would have. Um, but this is, these, these kind of heads are perfect for the rock and roll, the Latin, the studio work kind of playing. 